for NFL draft begins tonight and the Saints go into it with some big needs. Also LSU's Jaden Daniels may not have to wait long to hear his name called. Let's uh, get a preview of things from the athletics. Larry Holder. Good morning. Good morning. I mean, it must be some sort of football activity. It's been a minute since I've been <laughs> Absolutely. in here. So the, the Saints pick number 14. Their biggest need would be what? Offensive tackle. I don't think there's any question about it. Uh, you have question marks at both left tackle. You don't have your starter uh, in place right now. Right tackle, Ryan Ramchek, is injured. And they're unsure of how healthy he can be going into the season. So when you look at it, uh, certainly tackle, and luckily for the Saints, uh, there are plenty of offensive linemen, specifically tackle, that will probably be hovering around mm -hmm. when the Saints pick. I would look specifically at Olu Fashanu from Penn State or J.C. Latham from Alabama. Our rankings at The Athletic, we have them as our 12th and 13th uh, best overall prospects, and when you think about it, Quarterbacks typically go high in the NFL draft. Wide receiver class is good. So you can certainly have some tackles be in position for the Saints to select. And that's, uh, that's a good thing because it's an obvious need. The, the Saints have a history of, of moving down with trades in, in, or moving up, I'm sorry, in the draft. Should they move down considering they have so many needs? I feel like we say this every year that the Saints have needs and they should trade down. And guess what? They ignore that and always trade up. <laughs> so here's the thing. If you are the Saints and everyone on the planet knows tackle is a need and teams behind you also need a tackle, are they going to trade up? So could that tempt the Saints to trade up? And I'll throw out a scenario that people might think I'm crazy, but Joe Alt, he's the top tackle in the draft. He's our number five overall prospect. But what if he drops, because there's a run on quarterbacks and a run on wide receivers, what if he drops to, say, nine? Will the Saints get tempted, trade up for the best tackle, and then, of course, they lose assets later? But would it be tempting to do that? I wouldn't put it past them. And frankly, I, don't, I might go with that strategy, but I'm sure Saints fans are thinking, no, wait, wait, we can get a good tackle at 14. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it's always a roll of the dice at the draft. All right, um, so LSU, Jaden Daniels, uh, obviously one of the top quarterback picks, a couple wide receivers in Malik um, Neighbors and, and Brian Thomas Jr. What are your thoughts? Jaden Daniels, he'll either go two or three. So he'll either be a Washington commander or New England Patriot unless something crazy happens. Again, there are some quarterback desperate teams out there, Vikings, Broncos, Raiders, maybe they go trade up. Uh, but I think Jane Daniels will be a commander, number two pick. Malik Neighbors could be a top five pick. Even people don't think that he might be the number one receiver, but he could. He might be drafted above mm. a familiar name, Marvin Harrison Jr., so he should be off the board by seven. Brian Thomas Jr., probably a mid-first-round pick, so uh, maybe 15, 16, maybe even as high as 10. So, look, you're going to be hearing LSU's name a lot more early than you will even be hearing about the Saints. Interesting. All right, Larry Holder, thanks. You got it. 849.